I have indeed. Don't fall out of the torchwood tree, Tristan. Otherwise, we'll have to start chuckling at you as well. Look, we've got elephants, and they are enjoying the cool of the morning. Two young bulls full of energy, and of course, moving in. Which way are you going to go? I can't decide whether to go forward or backwards. Oh, no, let's stay, stay exactly where we are. And these two boys are having a serious disagreement with each other. It's all part... I've seen you before. I know you. You with the splayed-out tusks. I saw you the other day on school drive. Yes, I did. A shame. And that one, the one on the left, in front, he is... And don't come and take it out on me. He is really on the defensive. The one on the right is very much the aggressor in this situation. Aren't you, mister? Oh, are you all pumped up now? You want to come and chase us now? No, no, your opponent's turn to face you. Ah, you were fooled there. <laughs> I love elephants at this age. They're so full of relatable, almost human-like traits in the way that they play with each other and they chase each other around and they fight and then one gets upset and you can see the frustration. It's all very relatable. Isn't it, mister? <laughs> you know, back into the into him. <laughs> I'm very happy we did find elephants because I saw some tracks going into an area where I can't go. I was quite sad. I was really looking forward to seeing some elephants. But that's okay, we've got more here. Oh, don't turn your back on him. He will poke you in the bottom. Press home, it's at his advantage. We might actually even potentially see some mock mounting, which is a dominance display. Yeah. yeah. If I go forward now, they're going to stop what they're doing. That's almost what's happening here. Mock mounting between two males of the same species very often is a sign of basically the one showing dominance over the other. Okay, let's go forward a little bit. Oh, wait. <laughs> oh, shame. The poor one in front really, I think, just wants to have his breakfast. And as soon as he turns his back on this chap, then he gets poked in the bottom. Yes, push back. You've got the advantage of gravity. Use it. Use it. He's being a bully. George? Yes, elephant tusks absolutely do contribute to their survival, but they're not an absolute necessity either. So they, you do get tuskless elephants, they're just as healthy and actually potentially just as dangerous as an elephant with tusks. But particularly for the males, um, obviously they use them to compete and fight with each other. This one's got smaller tusks, so it's not all about tusk size. There's also a size of the actual animal and the, the level of aggression that they show. But the males do use them to fight for females, sometimes actually injuring each other fatally, although that is quite unusual. And they'll also use them to scrape bark off trees and then peel away the bark so that they can feed off it, particularly in winter when there's not much grass. They use their tusks to dig occasionally to defend themselves. So yes, absolutely. The tusks do contribute to their survival, but they're not, an, as I said, it's not an absolute. They don't have to have them. I don't know if any of you saw the publication recently of up-and-coming tuskers on the Kruger National Park Facebook page. I'm trying to think where exactly I saw it. <laughs> I think it was on the Wild Card Magazine Facebook page. But yes, Kruger's announced the names of up-and-coming great tuskers that currently exist within Kruger. There's some amazing looking elephants. And what I enjoy as well is they've started to include females as well. I think Fang, potentially, with her fascinating backwards facing tusk, before she broke it, she could have made it onto that list. 